Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this King Kong with fighter jet and Warbat with Osprey look. I don't want to give it away, but look at this really cool action sequence we came up with here. I think it looks absolutely incredible. You're not going to want to miss this, so let's dive right on in. But guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Give us a big thumbs up and yeah, we'd love to talk about this. We're making this video right before the movie comes out. Just a few days. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to talk about how incredible it is because there's no way this movie is not going to be awesome. So guys, what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV on Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right. Friends, well, we're going to go ahead and get underway, and I'm so excited to finally do these two. And so we have Kong with fighter jet, and it looks absolutely super incredible. And so does this Warbat with Osprey, and this has been the elusive one we haven't been able to find. We've gotten lots of comments saying, when are you going to do Warbat? Have you seen Warbat? Warbat's this and that, and I'm like, oh, I can't find him. But here he is, and we're going to go ahead and get started with both of these. But in the trailer, well, there's multiple trailers, but in one of the trailers where it has Kong swinging this war bat, it just looks so epic. It's like, <laughs> it smacks him into another war bat. But I'm really excited to get this underway. And I'm noticing that this Kong is very similar, if not the same one, as this one here with a different paint app. Now, this obviously is a Hong Kong lights one, a Hong Kong battle. But this war bat, and we got a few of them because. Uh, I would, oops, <laughs> excuse me. I would really like to do a custom paint one like uh, we did for Skullcrawler, and that would be really awesome. So we did buy a few, and would like to probably have, just like we would want a few Skullcrawlers, we'd want more than one Warbat. So who do you think we should do first here? Should we do Kong, or should we do Warbat? Mm, let's jump into Kong, and then we'll do Warbat right after. All right. Okay, so getting kicked off with Kong with a fighter jet. He looks super epic. Look at that face. And he looks fierce. He looks ready to, he's like snarling. Urgh. He's got battle damage. And I can't get over how beautiful these packages are. Great job. Of course, look at that MonsterVerse logo. He's I've been licensed through Playmates. And check out the back over here. So this looks so awesome, so epic. And let's see what it says right here about Kong with fighter jet. It says, let's zoom in a little bit. It says, Kong with fighter jet. Feel the bone crushing strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against his ancient rival Godzilla, wielding a fighter jet as a supersonic projectile weapon. I guess that happens at least once. <laughs> and then once more. I love this write-up that's on all of them, all the packages, but it says, Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. These have been super cool to unbox. Well, getting at that one. So, let's jump on in. Let's cut this bad boy out. And I definitely don't want to scratch him up. So I'll stay away from too close to the body. And I feel like these scissors aren't really cutting it anymore. I don't want these little scissors. But here we go. Just lean them forward, a smidge. And then there we are. Let's get our fighter jet out. There should be a little piece of tape. But I'm confident we can just kind of push it out. Oop, came with tape and everything. Put that back over here. And let's get his little flesh piece 
which also should be stuck with a tape right here. All right, cool. All right, let's set that aside and let's bring it in closer so we can see our Kong. And the Kong looks absolutely incredible. I love that we have all this articulation. Um, now I wish the head did move side to side other than just tilting like this. But, um, and then that there was able to turn at the waist because with all this other articulation, I'm like, man, we can move him so well. That would be outstanding. But anyway, he looks great. So let's go ahead and put this, this piece, the lip right here should go in first. And then we can just push the other part in. Look at that. And the battle damage, you can just rip it out from here just to show you. There we are. Pop that right back into place. And let's see. All right, so the head only kind of swivels like this. Doesn't really go up or down or back or forth. The shoulders go all the way around. They go this far out, which is actually pretty far out. Look at that. The elbows come into not quite a 90 degree angle, but they do come in pretty well. And they go a little bit further out beyond straight. And then the wrists do turn. They don't go in and out, but they do turn. So we get some pretty good articulation. Be nice to have him like pound or beat on his chest, but his arms don't come in that far. Um, we have good joints right here at the hip, so we can turn and also push them out. Look at that. The knee joints actually are pretty solid and come pretty far in and out. Look at that. Maybe a little further out than we would want, but they still move nice and smooth and they hold well. Look at that. And so we can have him like jumping with a battle axe. Look at that. And we can definitely put put him on like a action uh, dynamic action hero stand. So action figure stand that would be really cool. He's got the scrapes right there on his chest, and it looks pretty good overall. Look at that. Look at his feet, his King Kong feet, and well, I guess that's kind of a hint, right? It's Godzilla versus Kong, not Godzilla versus King Kong, and Godzilla is the king of the monsters, so. I wonder if that little hint or almost like um, is kind of throwing it out there that maybe he'll be King Kong afterwards. Who knows? It's, but let's take a look at this. This fighter jet, it's awfully plain and looks a little kind of flat with this matte finish. So I'm kind of curious as to why it's not at least semi-glossy because it looks like clay, honest, honestly. And I'm sure you can see that. We don't even have one color for um for even the glass that would be right here so to compare it to like our hollow earth vehicle anti-gravity vehicle you know at least you have a, a little bit of silver right there to show where they'd be looking out the front windshield but um in any event it's it's pretty cool it just i wish it didn't look like clay i wish it looked like at least like plastic okay and this king kong Again, man, look at those fierce eyes. They're like orange, almost red. So that looks awesome. And then look at his fangs right there. So I love how he's got brown and black type colors. And to compare him to our, um, our Hong Kong Battle Godzilla, it looks like it's probably the exact same Kong, except with just different uh, arms and as far as the paint actually the paint application and then front plate because it ends literally right there look at that so the one that would be different would be our kong our um let's see if i can find right here the kong with the with the battle axe who has the open mouth let me see if i can get that real quick so you can at least see that so this is kong with battle axe which looks like it's definitely very similar if not the same with a different head Look at that. So the axe from here and the head from here make this figure with paint. So there's our three Kongs from this set. Not bad, huh? Very cool. Definitely wanted you to see that. All right, let's go ahead and move on. What do you say? Let him move this out of here. And you know what? I'll leave our Kong here. And if he throws this, um, let's 
Let's see, how can we hold this? Since he's going to throw it as like a projectile, right? Look at that. Cool. That projectile, let me just tell you, won't do very much to Godzilla. It'd be cool to see it thrown, but it's not going to do very much damage. Okay. So. Next, let's go ahead and do Warbat with Osprey. And look how cool that looks. And definitely very different from the other figures. I love that Osprey right there. And this, this thin little plate that would go right there on the wing. Look at that. So this looks really cool. Like I was twisting around there. I wish we could somehow get him to like straighten out or whatever because it looks like he really only kind of twists very minimally. And he always got to stand like that. But anyway, nonetheless, there's a writer at the top that we just read on the other one. And let's see what it says about Warbat. It's getting closer here. So, Warbat with Osprey. Powerful enough to tear through an armored vehicles with its massive fangs. The Warbats are venom-winged monsters that hunt the hidden depths of the hollow earth. Very cool. So... Clearly, there's going to be more than one. Let's cut this out right here. Let's get these wings. And let's get him out right here. There we go. Very cool. Oh, and there's still one down here. Hmm, this one's hard to reach. Tell you what. Oh, good. Actually surprised myself. Because those scissors are clearly not very good. Alright, so we're gonna have to reach into here to get this. But all the way down here to get this. Come on, Osprey. And then this bottom piece to get this. So I'm not 100% sure where this goes. Obviously, it's going to help support him, I guess. But um, let's find out. Let's find out. First of all, this well, maybe it holds the wings. Let's take a look at the snake part of him, right? Look how, look at this. I'm assuming, um, before I break it, <laughs> I'm assuming the mouth opens. Look at that. That looks pretty crazy. What goes here? Is this where this goes? So I'm just not sure at all. Hmm. Guess we'll figure it out. And look how he twists. He twists right here so that we can have him, I guess, facing different directions. The tail can be moved. So that's at least something. Look at that. So that's cool. Um, hmm. The wings. Let's see, this one goes here. So I guess we can just pop this right here. This one goes here. So I'm assuming we just pop that right there. Right? And then this would go right over here. And is there, a, yeah, there's a lip right here on the bottom. So I guess we just pop that into place right there. And to make sure that's what he looks like. Oh, we got the big wing on the right side. Yep. Well, I guess it's just the way the angles look. So, that looks correct. Now, what about this? Where does this go? I'm thinking maybe this goes like this. Maybe. And I actually don't think we need that. So, I'm sorry if this is incorrect, but I don't see any instructions for it. And it does not appear to be incorrect. It appears to be um, there to support it like that. So, it's actually kind of cool. Let's look at this Osprey. Um, looks like it's, I'd have to, su oops, sorry guys. Support it up so that um, these can bend back into place. This is a very soft, bendy plastic. Look at that, nothing spins, nothing moves, and then, again, 
It looks, it's plastic that looks more like clay again. So, sorry, I keep going out of focus here. There we go. These do not spin. It'd be cool to, if I can get them to straighten out, which I will definitely try and do, and then paint. So that would be kind of cool. So in comparison to our Hollow Earth anti-gravity vehicle, there's the size right there. And compared to the fighter jet, there we go. But this Warbat is pretty fierce looking. Look at that. To the back, I'm definitely digging the way that it's sculpted. Look at this right here. So it's got a beautiful sculpt. I'll bring this just a little bit higher so you can see how it spirals down. Look at this. Very cool. So I wonder if with that, Probably still twist this out. Look at that. Can. It's not really made for that, but you can. And I'm gonna have the tail up. Look at that. So it looks pretty sweet. I wonder if we can get this with a even sweeter pose. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Sorry, taking a couple pictures. So let me see. Give me a second. All right, so what do you think about this? I was like, I was able to pry his hand open because it's kind of soft fiber plastic. And I thought this looked pretty incredible. Look at that right there. Look at this. I'll bring this into focus right here. That looked pretty outstanding. Too bad I can't turn his head like I was mentioning earlier. That would look absolutely incredible. But I thought, man, look how this looks. If I can't see Kong's face, I can't tell that, um, like this, it's harder to tell that he's not looking at him and looks pretty sick. Look at that. Laying it down. Here's the war bat right here. Look at this. So I'm just taking a couple pictures while I do this. And I think, man, does this look incredible. And then again. So, what are your thoughts on these action figures, guys? And hopefully, you've checked out the videos of the other figures, which if not, I'll put them a link in the description below. Or, you know what? Just make one long video with all of them. Again, we were watching, uh, unboxing these before the movie came out. So, we don't really know the circumstances yet of Warbat and Kong and the Hollow Earth. But, just a quick recap, I wanna show you all the figures, well, most of the figures that we have um, opened so far. And of course we got Mecha Godzilla. We have this Godzilla with a radio tower. We have the Battle Axe, we have Skull Crawler. There's just a ton. So um, we have Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. I'm like, man, there's more that are gonna fit than I can put on here. Um, sorry guys. Um, and then of course the 12 inch ones, the big Kong, the big Godzilla. I'm like, All right, so <laughs> I'll just put a link in the description. Go check those out if you haven't or make one big long video. And then once the movie comes out, let's revisit these and see what exactly, uh, how incredible they were and talk about them. So guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from and give us a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. Check out our YouTube channel page to see more great videos like this and the other Godzilla vs. Kong videos if you've not already checked them out. So we'll be seeing you soon and I bet the movie's gonna be incredible. We'll be seeing it as well. So thanks again for watching Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace.